and aid of empowering women to become better versions of themselves. In 2021, we were called Women Empowerment 2021, W-O-N. This theme was chosen as our theme for the year due to everything that took place during COVID-19. So 2021 was our winning year. And if we were not going to, and we were not going to let anything get in the way of our winnings. In 2022, we chose the theme 2020 choose. As winners, don't forget in 2021, you were crowned a winner. And 2022, you are about to choose. As winners, we have the right to choose our next step, our next move, our next walk of faith, which leads us into this year theme, This Is Her. What can, what can you do after you have won? You have chosen to walk into your purpose. Yes, you get up, get dressed, step out, and show up. This is the new you. This is me, this is you, and this is her. This movement is personal to me, and I am very passionate about it, and I call this my baby. What does woman empowerment mean? It means promoting women's sense of self-worth, their ability to determine their own choices and their right to influence social change for themselves and others. I want to encourage every woman in here today to embrace your full potential while walking into your purpose. They said fairy tales are not real, and magic only exists in fairy tale books and in the head of little girls. But do you know women are magical? Michelle Obama said, there is no limit to what we as women can accomplish. God said in Proverbs 31, woman of wisdom with God as her guiding source, she has clarity on the decision she makes, how she lives her life, and the word she chooses. She carefully cultivates and got a godly life on the eternal truth of God not the temporary and fleeting distractions of this world. Isn't that magical? Mm -hmm. Women empowerment is a group, a movement, and most importantly, a place to help women embrace their true identity. We have an outreach program to give to those where they are in need of clothing, food, support, financial aid, mental support, emotional support, physical support. As women, we all know which category we Winter storms have come and darkened my sun after all that I've been through. Who on earth can I turn to? I look to you. I look to you. This is a true and inspiration and a role, she's a true inspiration and a role model for all those who aspire to make a difference in the world. Her contributions to the field of education, leadership, and management have been immense. And we all look forward to what she will achieve next. Yeah. Please help me welcome Her Excellency, Dr. Demetria Sherman. Blessing 
to you all, and I just want to say that you all are a blessing to me. And I am privileged to be among such beautiful women and all the queens today. Um, for you all, I, my, my, my husband shared with me two thirties on what he, or what you envision your life to be. If we ask God for some stuff, and I mean, yes. We waking up in the morning, we praying, we saying, Lord, when is our time? Yes. Let's bring it more home. I can walk up a little bit. Right. So I can feel a little bit more comfortable and feel like I'm engaging with the crowd. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna bring it home a little bit. At the age of 10, remember I, 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 the young lady that came up, I mean, that was a long speech. Mm -hmm. and somebody wrote that for me. Mm -hmm. But at the age of 10, ladies, I, came from a home and my mom was very, very wealthy. She would have had one of the top businesses here in this country. And you know, back in the day, when you had a business, it's not like now when everybody's running a business. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, businesses were small, but they were booming. Mm -hmm. And I came from a family of wealth. My mother, my stepfather, my sister, and my brother, um, you know, we didn't need for anything. We traveled the world, we lived a good life. But at the age of 10 years old, my daughter lay in here, she's 11. So I just want you to picture this. I couldn't picture this. But when I looked at her last year, look at her age now, I could not imagine at 10 years old, I had the tenacity to jump on a bus and said I was gonna find my father. Of course, my mom said to me many days, and I'm sure some of us in here went through that, your mom said your dad is a no good, a daddy, he on drugs, he ain't got no money, he ain't doing nothing for you. You know, but it was just something about that phone call I used to make at night. I used to sneak and call my father just to hear his voice. I don't know what it was, but I seek to hear that voice. And I talk about I used to get cut him. <laughs> if my mother ever found out that I spoke to him. But at 10 years old, I decided that I was gonna jump on a bus and drive come down on Michael Road has now called for me to be Peace Ambassador International. They said it's never been done in the history of the Bahamas. The Commodore called and wanted to find out who was this young lady that got this title because he's been trying to get it for years. And I'm not boasting, I listen, hear what I'm saying to you ladies. Based on any way you start is how you finish. And based on the short story, I'll give you a little synopsis of my life. Based on the short story from where I came from, you can imagine my neighbors still live where my house is. I still go around and hail them, go to the door and hail them, buy them some lunch, take care of them. They used to put the holes through the window for her excellency, Dr. Demetrius mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Not a title I ask for. A title with God say, this girl been through much. Oh my God. Through much. Imagine 40 years without having your natural mother in your life. Mm -hmm. Think about it. But God bless me with all kinds of mothers. I have one right here. Sister Leah Paku. I mean mothers upon mothers upon mothers. Her mother. All right guys, coming back to you after the tea party. So it was really, really fun. It was really nice. I did win a gift for arriving first. Um, I got a certificate to get my hair done from, uh, I can't remember the name of the salon. I will post it on the screen, but I am looking forward to that. Um, I was able to meet new people. I, I was able to learn some things and I am looking forward to being a part of this group. Um, yeah, would I do it again? Definitely, definitely. Um, the experience that I had today is like something that I want to take throughout my life, you know, getting to know different powerful women, um, uplifting women, just coming together and sharing your story, sharing your experience. That is what I want for me. So, 10 out of 10, definitely a 10 out of 10. If you want to see more vlogs and lifestyle stuff from me lifestyle videos from me be sure to like comment and subscribe c squad we out